What's up, guys? Welcome to another tight medical movie review just for you. <laughs> Looper! You ready? Let's do it. What's up, guys? John here with another movie review just for you. And I'm Cherie, it's his beautiful wife. <laughs> <laughs> so, tonight we got to see Madam Web. So, me and Cherise went. It was Valentine's Day. So, we're like, all right, let's go see a movie. The movie was packed. So, I'm thinking, all right, this might be good. Now, you know, I've seen a couple, you know, people talking on the internet before this movie saying how bad it was going to bomb and how bad it was going to be. But I always like to give it a chance. You know, it's going to be a Marvel character. I want to see, you know, what they're going to come up with. Now, this was a Sony's picture who owns the rights to Spider-Man and most of the characters of Spider-Man. Um, but it was Marvel associated. So even in the beginning, you see the, the Marvel intro with all the characters and stuff like that. So, you know, when you see that, that's putting Marvel stamp of approval on your movie. Now. You know, this is kind of like the before who Madame Web really is, if you guys know the character. If you guys don't, she was introduced in like the 1980s in, in Spider-Man comics. And at that point, it's another Spider-Man character. So it's like telling her story of how she got to who she was, I guess. And then a couple of the teenage girls, the Spider-Man or Spider-Women and whatever, I, I don't even know all their names. Mm -hmm. But at that point, <laughs> introducing them. So in the trailer, this was kind of why I don't like some of these trailers because in the trailer, it shows these girls in costume as superheroes. And in this movie, you're not going to get much of it. I'm not going to ruin it for you guys. Yeah, I'm going to ruin it. It's only like five minutes. I didn't even think it was of that long. Of the costumes, long. maybe three and a half. I didn't think it was that long. Um, you know, Madame Webb starts going to introduce her powers and stuff like that in this movie. So you get to see some of that. But the girls, that's it. She just protected them and they're going their way. Uh, I, I thought the writing could have been a little better. There was some cheesy lines in there, mm. some real cheesy ones. Pretty bad. Um, and I thought the movie could have been a little bit better. I mean, you know, it's just, it is what it is. So with this movie review, I'm going to give it like a 2.3. Uh, you know, I, I, I really didn't think it was that good put together. And it's going to be hard to keep your attention if you're looking for characters and superheroes in this movie because there's not too much of that. Now, on the flip side, the Ezekiel character, right, who's like in the Spider-Man costume in the trailer, which in the comics, he really didn't wear that costume like that. So it's kind of a little, little change. Um, but I don't know if they were just trying to play off Spider-Man with it. Now, the character that he plays is pretty cool, but uh, like I said, I think they were just trying to pull Spider-Man's image into this some, somewhat because it was the exact same costume almost, just different coloring. So don't be fooled for that. Now, that was probably the best parts of the movie is seeing him in the costume and going after these girls, per se, right? So, like I said, 2.3, don't listen to me. Go see it for yourself. Definitely listen to John. And then, for real, definitely listen to me movie was terrible <laughs> Mar what was the one this is Mar whatever madam webb no 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 the bad one who the guy with the indian chick uh come on uh, marvels supergirls whatever oh marvels marvels okay so after the marvels movie came out i was very very skeptical about coming to see this movie because of how bad that movie was um and this movie lived up to its dreams of a 1.3 wow this movie was bad well, again, it only got the one star because John was sitting next to me being his cute self, right? But this movie, I mean, I don't even, I literally don't even know what happened in the movie because I, I don't even know what was going on. Like, I they couldn't even keep my attention. I mean, I knew that she, she could, like, see in the future and that was about it. But there was, like, no action. There was no nothing. These girls... Nothing ever happened. Like, it was just, you were kind of waiting for it. And I'm, like, looking, I literally looked at the clock, like, probably three, four, or five times, which in the middle of a movie, for a movie buff, you don't look at the clock, right? right. You just watch the movie and enjoy the movie. Right. I think there could have been other characters they could have bought movies out with that would have been a lot better. And they were comparing this movie to Morbius, which I thought Morbius was a Morbius right movie. Morbius was pretty good. But this movie was, was no near comparison as good. Happy Valentine's Day, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to eat some dinner with my wife for Valentine's Day. I hope you guys enjoyed our movie review. And don't worry, we're going to come back with more. Just for you. And we're going to tell you the honest to God truth of what we think about the movies. And you guys can judge it for yourself. And we say you guys are right. Yeah, I'm always right. <laughs> we'll see you the next time. Medical Movie Review. See you then. All right.